is just fantastic. Welcome everyone to a Megon 2 Electric Boogaloo, and yes, I'm keeping that name. Today I want to talk about something that didn't make the cut for the main channel that I upload to. So this is going to be solely on this channel. Yay, I know, celebrate everyone. We are going to talk about hate crime. More notably, the art of causing offence. We're going to start with Grenfell Tower. Grenfell Tower was a block of flats in London that caught fire and a lot of people passed away because of this. After an investigation, it was discovered the company that installed the cladding cut corners. That cladding was not meant to be combustible, and yet it was. Because of that, innocent lives were lost. Many people were hurt. Some people faked it as well, and they were caught out eventually. A man, though, got charged with something for causing gross offence, no less, because he had uploaded a video of a cardboard model of Grenfell Tower being burned on a bonfire. Many people believe this to be highly offensive and he should face charges for such a thing. I, though, disagree. Causing offence should not be a crime. It doesn't matter what you believe. It doesn't matter how poor taste something is. Causing offence drives up attention. That's all it does. By now deciding that something like that, akin to burning an effigy, is somehow offensive enough to warrant a criminal record, sets a dangerous precedent. The man in question is called Paul Bassetti, from Croydon, which is in South London, who ended up pleading guilty at Westminster Magistrates Court. The video in question is from 2017, which is a year after the Grenfell Tower fire, and this video was then shared on WhatsApp. Chief Magistrate Paul Goldspring said he was horrified when he saw the film, which I will readily admit astonished me because it is bleeding cardboard. That's all it is. You have given it the power. That's what you've done. Continuing by saying, it was disgusting. It was disrespectful. It was abhorrent. It was, by the nature of the charge, grossly offensive. I suspect it was offensive to almost everybody who has an ounce of decency about them. I guess I'm off that list then. Again, you gave it power the moment you decided to charge him. In August of 2019, he had originally been found not guilty of posting the video during a two-day trial, but the Crown Prosecution Services decided, na fam, with the acquittal later being quashed by the High Court. As a consequence for that rather pathetic video that many people have already seen and I can't show here because I'd be yeeted off YouTube, he received, Paul Bassetti, a 10-week suspended jail sentence for burning a bleeding cardboard thingy of Grenfell Tower already on fire. You've got to be kidding me. But we're not done. Madeline McCann was trending on Twitter, and I had to look, and then I found out why. For this, we then go to a burger van advert, which I'll admit made me chuckle. It's a Leeds burger van for a company called Otley Burger Company. The advert in question concerned Madeline McCann and centered around Mother's Day and was shared to Instagram. It was since, and has been since, removed. But I have an image of it, don't worry, and I've archived it as well. Happy Mother's Day to all the mums. Burgers for dinner? Hashtag all the hashtags. And then at the end, this is not an advert. The company in question received a whole whopping three complaints. Those complaints went to the Advertising Standards Authority, even though the post itself says this is not an advert. Okay, here is the image in question. With burgers this good, you'll leave your kids at home. What's the worst that could happen? Happy Mother's Day to all the mums out there. Well, that's... <laughs> that is a spicy, spicy joke. I have to... <laughs> yes, it is quite something. Again, though, it is in poor taste. Of course it is. That does not stop it being funny. It's never stopped something being funny. There's always going to be someone that finds this kind of, well, yes, funny. And I'm one of those people. Okay. It's a good joke. Poor taste, of course it is. If you start to diminish what is acceptable comedy, eventually there'll be no jokes left to tell. As a consequence, the company has since removed all of these <clears throat> adverts mostly so they don't get into any more trouble with the Advertising Standards Agency, because if they got into too much trouble with them, they wouldn't be able to promote their business with, well, adverts that are actually adverts, right? This wasn't like an advert play between some kind of episode of Coronation Street. This is some post on social media that got 200 likes. That's what I get for posting a picture of a dog. Does that mean that the picture of the dog is also an advert? 
I know it's a false equivalence, please. Just play along for a moment, indulge me, humour me, please. And by the way, just because this also tickled me, on Father's Day last year, they posted another one of those amazing adverts, but this time of well-known serial killers. This is the level <laughs> this is the level we're working with. They know how to drum up attention, and they're using spicy memes as a way of doing that. Is it an advertisement for the business? No, but they're associating their business with memes by inserting them into memes. Should this also be considered grossly offensive? Not really. Should it have been reported to the Advertising Standards Agency? I don't believe so. Again, what is or is not hateful, grossly offensive, is subjective and neither, neither should be punishable. In this case, the companies had to play clever because they don't want to lose their presence on social media and Meta, as the parent company, has already removed the posts anyway. They have to play smart if they want to grow their business, especially if they want to use social media to help do so. Unfortunately, we are all victims of wanting to succeed and knowing to do so we have to play the game. But I could be wrong. Maybe I should just be a spiteful dick on Twitter and continually lose my account over and over again. That works, right?